What is up, good people? What is up? What's up? Anyway, uh, so um, let's have a conversation about um, let's have a conversation about how a man benefits a woman. This was asked to me by a sub in the email. So unless I get their permission, um, I'm not going to uh, put them out there. So just the way I do things. But before I do that, I want to thank you to all the new subs and all that. Well over 3,000, 3,600, I think was the last count I had. Thank you so much. Let's keep the conversation going. Let's keep the channel growing. Uh, it's my plan. I just talked to, uh, I was talking to my stepson today. Um, you know, plans to do some big things as far as um, sh live shows and this, that, and the other. So a lot of big plans. I want to take some questions so I can answer a lot of these questions live and give, uh, you know, to give a mature perspective as to what's going on. All right. So let's talk about, let's talk about what a man brings to a woman. And I think that this is a, a difficult question, if it can be answered at all, uh, within the modern in the modern times, the modern time frame, modern era, right? Modern dating has changed so much. So, you know, men these days um, are trying to figure out their role. They're, they're trying to figure out their role. I admit that, right? And I've, I've quoted other scholars who have admitted this, who are trying to say, okay, what is, what is the man's role? We know up until riff, roughly the 1950s, 1960s, men were the protectors and providers. So they provided women with protection and provision. That was their role. From the hunter-gatherers to the uh, protection from other tribes, to the protection from the men within the tribes, that was the role. What is it today? Women in modern societies have the benefits of the government. And some would say, some have pejoratively said that the government is your new husband between the police between the military courts enforcing the, the laws the government is your husband that's what they say so what is a what is a man going to do when he comes into your life what's, what's his role I think that that's something that men got to figure out, right? This is the question about what men bring. Could be the question about what men bring to the table. Um, you know, and so we have to, we kind of have to figure that out and kind of make some adjustments on the fly here. Build this airplane as we fly it, as they say, right? Try to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. And, you know, you're talking, you're talking to, <laughs> you're talking to uh, a mature guy who's been around the block and has a probably a vastly different perspective as to what that would be for for Gen Zs, As, Millennials, etc. And they are probably being socialized to think differently than the way that I was. But I don't think personally that that is going to be a long term solution concerning what men and women want. Right? This whole blurring of the gender role. I don't think that that's going to last very long. Listen, I, I probably. It probably won't. I mean, it probably will. You know, who knows? But, you know, human beings have been human beings. We've been human being for, um, you know, 250,000 years or so. So all of a sudden, within 40, 50, 60, 70 years, we're going to completely change the gender roles because of the aid of technology, right? That women are working more, so they don't need your money. Men... Uh, and as I mentioned, the protection aspect. So what, what role is there? This is why, you know, this is why the 50-50 conversation comes into play. This is why the leadership conversation comes into play. What role is the man supposed to do? Is he supposed to provide? Men traditionally have done these roles. They've understood their roles as far as this is my, this is my job. So what am I supposed to do? And what benefits do I have to bring to a woman? Well, I think that some of the benefits that could be, first of all, is, is leadership. But again, do you, do you want that? Um, I think stability, caring ear. Um, these are some of the benefits that, that I think that women could 
um, could benefit from, a shoulder to cry on, stability. Um, these are just some of the ideas. So listen, I, I'm thinking about this. It's, it's a good question that I was asked. What role do I have? What, and I think that the same thing could go the other way. What role does a woman provide in, in a man's life, right? Um, you know, listen, I live, I live alone. And, you know, what, why should I take a woman into my sphere, to my, to my home, to my atmosphere? I, I can cook for myself. I can, I can, um, obviously I can protect myself, right? I don't need the, the nurturing, um, not nurturing. Um, I do need, I do want that. I, um, I do need the, um, I don't need the, I can cook for myself, clean for myself, and or I, ha I hire a, I hire somebody to do that. So what need do I have to, to have somebody to come in my life? Well, so I'm trying to, you know, kind of give a perspective as to what what each other have done traditionally. Concerning men, that role has been is being filled. I was I said being outsourced by other parties. So what role does a man have? Are you looking for a man with for a shoulder to, to cry on? Are you looking for a, um, someone to help you make decisions, help you pay bills, help you to um, to work things out, to think clearly, bounce someone what something off of? Do you looking for just companionship? If that's the case. You can buy a dog, get a cat, get a parakeet. I saw some dude, people are collecting spiders and crabs now. I saw that on the internet, on the interweb. Uh, yeah, I got a phone call there. So, um, so I think that, um, you know, it's really just about companionship. I think at this point, I, I got to be honest, right? We, I got to be honest. I don't, either way. It's got. It's mostly just about companionship. Sure, there is a component of pushing and driving each other to be the best version of themselves. Somebody to hold you accountable. Somebody to to love. Um, you know, obviously to build a family with. But this is this is a good question that I think that we are struggling with in modern times. Is what do I want you for? And I had a conversation a while ago with this young lady about needs and wants, and you know, she she said it was better for a man to be wanted by the woman. It's better for the man to be wanted by the woman. But that is a struggle for men because men have traditionally been needed. Right? You needed a man. You needed a man's protection. Not not every single woman. Don't don't jump in my comment section. All throughout hi human history, every woman, you know. They, but generally, men have been the protectors and that was a need. And they have been providers because whether it was back in ancient times, as far as when we lived on a savanna or hunted animals or whatever, you needed you needed some type of protection. You needed it. That is not the case anymore. And so the struggle nowadays is to figure out, you know, what your role is or what you're supposed to be doing in society. Um, concerning, concerning, um, concerning, you know, how we're going to live and move. How we're going to live and move together? Are we going to live and move together? You know, somebody asked me a question in the comments, and I, I think I answered another comment about you know this whole idea of married and living apart. But, but why would you? Why would you feel comfortable? Why would you feel comfortable? Why is it that people feel comfortable with? living apart you feel you would feel comfortable living apart because again you don't need the man's protection so it's just about at that point it's just really just about sex or somebody to come and see every now and then right because if you're married and living apart if you're married and living apart then somebody else is probably doing your cooking or you're doing it yourself unless you meet for three meals a day or, or two meals a day, you know, 
breakfast and, and dinner or whatever. Or um, you have an alarm system or you can call the police or you have a dog. So this is a tough question. This is a tough question. And I, I wish I had the answer. I thought about this. I thought about it. Um, but aside from companionship, I can't see, I can't see the benefit. I can't see the benefit. I'm struggling to see, I'm struggling to make this a longer video, but but I, I I'm struggling to figure out what that would be. Aside from companionship, aside from a shoulder to cry on, aside from those those types of uh mental pushes, emotional support, etc. And I'm not saying those things are insignificant at all. I'm not saying those things are insignificant. But those are but the, but the struggle is is that getting men to see that Getting men to see that their role has been diminished and outsourced, if you will, by other by other entities. And that is uncomfortable. That is uncomfortable. And I think that that is what's causing a lot of men to feel confused, flustered, and want to withdraw from the system because there's no need for me. When you take a look at <clears throat> when you take a look at a lot of the um, statistics surrounding self deletions and stuff, you know, these notes that are left behind and being police officers, I read a lot of these notes. They also talked about, you know, I, I feel worthless. I'm so, sorry. I'm useless. You know, I'm sick. I, you know, I don't want to be a burden. Those are, those are common common themes within these self deletion notes when left by men. So, the idea, as I talked about with the young lady I was talking to, about being needed. Ladies might think it's it's good. We, we you know if I want you and I think from a woman's perspective that's good. That sounds good. I want you, right? I I want you to be. I don't need you to be around, but I want you. And but from a man's perspective, that's that's not a, that's not that's not a a benefit. Because if you want me, then one day you can unwant me. And if you need me, you're always going to be. You're always going to be there now. I recognize that that might sound a little harsh, controlling. That's the way it was. So now we want to socialize men to think differently, act differently, move differently. Okay. Okay. But don't forget now that too, that there's a push to go back to these traditional type of values. What's doing that? So listen, it's a good question I was asked. I wish I had a, a better response to it, um, but this idea of needs and wants and all that, it's a tough, it's a tough sell. And what do you benefit? What do, what do I benefit to a woman? Shoulders to cry on, somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had it, I'm stumped, I'm stumped. And maybe what I've given has already been good enough, right? Just just be there for me, emotional support. Maybe that's all that the ladies are really requiring and asking for, looking for. Okay. But I don't think that, I don't think from a man from a man's point of view. I don't think that that's enough. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, particularly with the younger generation, these twenty-five year olds and stuff, 25, 30 year olds. Maybe they maybe they're good with that. They're just good. Okay, listen. I just listen to you to talk and get it off your chest and all that. But that ain't for a big L. But I want to be needed. I want to. I want to fill. I want to fill a void in a role and have a role. I want to fill a void and have a role in your life. And if I if I'm not there, then I'm going to feel as if I'm lacking. Or what is my purpose here? What is my What is my purpose here? So that's the way I see it. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Much love and peace.